Namaste, Pranam. By the instruction and grace of our spiritual master, Om Vishnu Pad Paramahamsa, Sripad Bhakti Madhava Puri Maharaj, we are here reading Srimad Bhagavatam. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Canto 3, the status quo, chapter 7, text 42. Sri Shuka Uvacha. Sitam a prishta purana kalpa puru pradhane namuni pradhana pravridha harsho bhagavat katayam sanchoditas tam prahasan ivaha. Sri Sukadev Goswami said, Thus the chief of the sages who is always enthusiastic about describing topics regarding the personality of Godhead, began to narrate the descriptive explanation of the Puranas, being so infused by Vidura. He was very much enlivened by speaking on the transcendental activities of the Lord. Purport. Great learned sages like Maitreya Muni are always very enthusiastic about describing the transcendental activities of the Lord. Maitreya Muni, being thus invited by Vidura to speak, appeared to be smiling because he actually felt transcendental bliss. Thus end the Bhaktivedanta purports of the third canto, seventh chapter of Srimad Bhagavatam entitled, Further Inquiries by Vidura. Chapter 8. Manifestation of Brahma from Garbha Dachai Vishnu. <clears throat> Text one. Maitreya Uvacha Satsevana Yo Bata Puruvamso Yaloka Palo Bhagavat Pradhana Babu Vite Hajita Kirtimalam Pade Pade Nutan Ayasya Bhiknam the great sage Maitreya Muni said to Vidura, the royal dynasty of King Puru is worthy to serve the pure devotees because all the descendants of that family are devoted to the personality of Godhead. You are also born in that family and it is wonderful that because of your attempt, the transcendental pastimes of the Lord are becoming newer and newer at every moment. Purport. The great sage Maitreya thanked Vidura and praised him by reference to his family glories. The Puru dynasty was full of devotees of the personality of Godhead, and there was, uh, it was therefore glorious. Because they were not attached to impersonal Brahman or to localized Paramatma, but were directly attached to Bhagavan, the personality of Godhead, they were worthy to render service to the Lord and his pure devotees. Because Vidura was one of the descendants of that family, naturally he engaged in spreading wide the new, uh, the ever new glories of the Lord. Maitreya felt happy to have such a glorious company as Vidura. He considered the company of Vidura most desirable because such association can accelerate one's dormant propensities for devotional service. Text 2. So ham nurnam chula sukaya dukam mahad gata nam veramaya tasya pravartaye bhagavatam puranam yanaha sakshad bhagavan rishabhya. Let me now begin speaking on the Bhagavat Purana, which was directly spoken to the great sages by the personality of Godhead for the benefit of those who are entangled in extreme miseries for the sake of very little pleasure. Purport. The sage Maitreya proposed to speak on Srimad Bhagavatam because it was especially compiled and traditionally comes down in the disciplic succession for the solution of all problems of human society. Only one who is fortunate can have the opportunity to hear Srimad Bhagavatam in the association of pure devotees of the Lord. Under the spell of material energy, the living entities are entrapped in the bondage of many difficulties simply for the sake of a little bit of material happiness. 
They engage in fruit of activities not knowing the implications. Under the false impression that the body is the self, the living entities foolishly relate to so many false attachments. They think that they can engage with the materialistic paraphernalia forever. This gross misconception of life is so strong that a person suffers continually, life after life, under the external energy of the Lord. If one comes in contact with the book Bhagavatam as well as with the, devo the devotee Bhagavat, who knows what the Bhagavatam is, then such a fortunate man gets out of the material entanglement. Therefore, Sri Maitreya Muni, out of compassion for the suffering men in the world, proposes to speak on Srimad Bhagavatam first and last. Text 3. Asinam urvyam bhagavantam adyam, sankarshanam devam akunta sattvam, vivitsavastatvam ataparasya, umhara mukya munayon vaprachan. Some time ago, being inquisitive to know, Sanat Kumar, the chief of the boy saints, accompanied by other great sages, inquired exactly like you about the truths regarding Vasudev, the Supreme, from Lord Sankarshna, who is seated at the bottom of the universe. This is in clarification of the statement that the Lord spoke directly on Srimad Bhagavatam. When and unto whom the Bhagavatam was spoken is explained herewith. Questions similar to those put forward by Vidura were asked by great sages like Sanat Kumar and Lord Sankarshna, the plenary expansion of the Supreme Lord Vasudev. Uh, he answered them. Next four. Swam eva disnyam bahu maya antam Yad vasudeva bidam amananti Pratyagdrita sham buja kosham ishad Un milayantam vi budho dayaya At that time, Lord Sankarshna was meditating upon his Supreme Lord, whom the learned esteemed, uh, who the whom the learned esteem as Lord Vasudev, but for the sake of the advancement of the great learned sages, he slightly opened his lotus-like eyes and began to speak. Text 5. Svardhun yudhar dry svajata kalpa pyar. Svardhun yudhar dry svajata kalpa Upas prashantas chara no padhanam, padmam yad archantyahi, raja kanya, saprema nana balibhir vrartha. The sages came from the highest planets down to the lower region through the water of the Ganges, and therefore the hair on their heads uh, was wet. They touched the lotus feet of the Lord which are worshipped with various paraphernalia by the daughters of the serpent king when they desire good husbands. Purport. The Ganges water flows directly from the lotus feet of Vishnu and its course runs from the highest planet of the universe down to the lowest. The sages came down from Satyaloka by taking advantage of the flowing water, a process of transportation made possible by the power of mystic yoga. If a river flows thousands and thousands of miles, a perfect yogi can at once transport himself from one place to another simply by dipping, it, uh, dipping in its water. The Ganges is the only celestial river which flows throughout the universe and great sages travel all over the universe via this sacred river. The statement that their hair was wet indicates that it was directly moistened by the water originating from the lotus feet of Vishnu, the Ganges. 
Whoever touches the water of the Ganges to his head surely touches the lotus feet of the Lord directly and can become free from all effects of sinful acts. If after taking a bath in the Ganges or being washed of all sins, a man guards himself against committing further sinful acts, then certainly he is delivered. But if he again takes up sinful activities, his bath in the Ganges is as good as that of the elephant, who nicely takes his bath in a river, but later spoils the whole thing by covering himself with dust on the land. Text 6. Mahor Granto Vacha Sanuraga Skalat Padenasya Kritani Tadja Irita Sahasramani Praveka Pradyotito Dhamma Fana Sahasram. The four Kumars headed by Sanat Kumar, who all knew the transcendental pastimes of the Lord glorified the Lord in rhythmic accents with selected words full of affection and love. At that time, Lord Sankarshna, with his thousands of raised hoods, began to radiate an effulgence from the glowing stones on his head. Purport. The Lord is sometimes addressed as Uttama Shloka, which means one who is worshipped with selected words by devotees. A profusion of such selected words comes from a devotee who is fully absorbed in affection and love for the devotional service of the Lord. There are many instances in which even a small boy who was a great devotee of the Lord could offer excellent prayers and the choicest words for the glorification of the pastimes of the Lord. In other words, without the development of fine affection and love, one cannot offer prayers to the Lord very suitably. Text 7. Protam kilai tad bhagavatamena nivritti dharma viratayatena sanat kumaraya sachaha prishta sankhyayana yanga druta vrataya. <clears throat> Lord Sankarshna thus spoke the purport of Srimad Bhagavatam to the great sage Sanat Kumar who had already taken the vow of renunciation. Sanat Kumar also, in his turn, when inquired, uh, when inquired of by Sankhyayana Muni, explained Srimad Bhagavatam as he had heard it from Sankarshna. This is the way of the Parampara system. Although Sanat Kumar, the, the well-known great saintly Kumar, was in the perfect stage of life, Still, he heard the message of Srimad Bhagavatam from Lord Sankarshna. Similarly, when he was questioned by the Sankhyayana Rishi, he spoke to him the same message he heard from Lord Sankarshna. In other words, unless one hears from the proper authority, one cannot become a preacher. In devotional service, therefore, two items out of the nine, namely being hearing and chanting, are most important. Without nicely hearing, one cannot preach the message of Vedic knowledge. Text 8. Sankhyayana paramahamsya mukyo vivakshamano bhagavad vibhuti jagada sosmad gurave nivitya parasarayata brahaspatescha the great sage Sankhyayana was the chief amongst the transcendentalists. And when he was describing the glories of the Lord in terms of Srimad Bhagavatam, it so happened that my spiritual master, Parasara and Brihaspati, both heard him. Text 9. Provacha mayam sadaya lor ukto. Muni pulas tena puranam adyam, so ham tavitat katayami vatsa, shradhalave nityam anu, anu vrataya. The great sage Parasara, the great sage Parasara, as aforementioned, 
being so advised by the great sage Hulastya, spoke unto me the foremost of the Puranas, Bhagavatam. I shall also describe this before you, my dear son, in terms of my hearing, because you are always my faithful follower. Purport. The great sage of the name Pulastya is the father of all demoniac descendants. Once upon a time, Parasara began a sacrifice in which all the demons were to be burnt to death because his father had been killed and devoured by one of them. The great sage Vasistamuni arrived at the sacrifice and requested Parasara to stop the deadly action. And because of Vasista's position and respect in the community of sages, Parasara could not deny the request. Parasara, having stopped the sacrifice, Pulastya, the father of the demons, appreciated his Brahminical temperament and gave the blessing that in the future he would be a great speaker on the Vedic literatures called the Puranas, the supplements of the Vedas. Parasara's action was appreciated by Pulastya because Parasara had forgiven the demons out of his Brahminical power of forgiveness. Parasara was able to demolish all the demons in the sacrifice, but he considered demons are so made that they devour living creatures, men and animals. But why on that account should I withdraw my Brahminical qualification of forgiveness? As the great speaker of the Puranas, Parasara, first of all, spoke on the Srimad Bhagavad Purana because it is the foremost of all the Puranas. Maitreya Muni desired to narrate the same Bhagavatam he had heard from Parasara, and Vidura was qualified to hear it because of his faithfulness and his following the instructions received from the superiors. So Srimad Bhagavatam was being narrated from time immemorial by the disciplic succession, even before the, uh, even before the time of Yasudev. The so-called historians calculate the Puranas to be only a few hundred years old, but factually the Puranas existed from time immemorial, before all historical calculations by mundaners and speculative philosophers. Okay, um, thus ends our reading for today. We'll continue from text 10 on Friday. Let's just say, Jai Tirobab Mahamahamata of Om Vishnu Pad Paramahamsa Paravarikataria Asatara Satishishri Trila Bhakti Nirmal Acharya Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai Om Vishnu Pad Paramahamsa Sri Pad Bhakti Madhava Puri Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai Om Vishnu Pad Paramahamsa Srila Isi Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada Ki Jai. Jai Om Vishnu Pad Paramahamsa. Srila Bhakti Rakshak Sridhar Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai Vishnu Pad Paramahamsa Srila Bhakti Sundar Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai Vishnu Pad Paramahamsa Srila Bhakti Nirmal Acharya Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai Vishnu Pad Paramahamsa Srila Bhakti Iskam Shanta Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai Rupa Nuga Guru Varga Ki Jai. Who devotees are glorious to the world? Why devotees? Sama Bhakti Veda Vrinda Kija. Vinavadi Dam Kija, Nishunga Poli Dam Kija, Maya Poor Dam Kija. Pori Dam Kija. Madra Jagannath Ju Kija. Me Yamuna Mai Kija. Vrinda Dam Kija. Here go over them, book to go over and Dam Kija. Sham Kija. Tosi Devi Bhakti Devi Vrinda Devi Kija. Jai Hana Srimad Bhagavatam ki jai, Jai Hanam Sankirtan Yagya ki jai, Jai Scientific Sankirtan Yagya ki jai, Jai Princeton Bhaktivedanta Institute ki jai, Jai Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Institute ki jai, Jai Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat ki jai, Nittai Gora Premanandi Hari Hari Bo, Jai Srimati Uma Devi Dasi ki jai, Hare Krishna. Sri Krishna. Yes, I'll probably get it. I'm not going to. 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 I'm not